it's Sunday, so we've got some early games to get to, plus player prop on Cardinals Cubs for tonight on ESPN. So let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on the Power Five, or if you just want to show some support for the show, that's greatly appreciated. Today's Power Five starts with Yankees team total under five and a half minus 130 versus the Blue Jays 135 Eastern start. Look, I know the last eight head-to-head -head meetings between these teams have all gone over the total. The Blue Jays are 9-1 and one to the over their last 10 games overall, while the Yankees have gone over in nine straight. Given all that, plus the fact the Yankees are favored here, you'd naturally expect them to put some runs on the board. Plenty of runs on the board, if you will. However, we've already seen the Yanks score just, just, five runs in one of the games of this series. And I think that could happen again here on Sunday. Uh, Yariel Rodriguez, the starter for Toronto, has given up more than three earned runs just once in 10 starts. If he can get through five innings or more, we're in good shape. Then maybe New York still ahead, still leading. Uh, and they don't have to come up to bat in the bottom of the ninth if that's the case. One fewer at bat. Regardless, Yankees team total under five and a half is the play for me in this game. Uh, moving on, number two in the Power Five, Royals team total under four and a half versus the Tigers, 140 Eastern start. Detroit finally beat KC last night, six to five in 11 innings, but through nine innings, the Royals had scored just three runs. Something I've mentioned multiple times before, Kansas City's lineup nowhere near as potent on the road as it is at home. At home, they're number three in runs per game and number one in batting average. On the road, they're 19th in runs. 19th in batting average and 24th in WRC+. Plus. The biggest difference of all, though, for the Royals home versus road is strikeout rate. They strike out way more on the road. So I like them under the team total today as well. I also like the Dodgers under their team total of 4.5, minus 110 at Oakland, 407 Eastern. He's sensing a pattern here as we've begun the Power 5 with three team totals all under. Uh, I know LA won 10 nothing last night, but that's a little misleading. It's 4 nothing game heading into the ninth. All six of their ninth inning runs came against Kyle Muller, who is hardly a high leverage arm for the A's. Still, no Freddie Freeman, no Mookie Betts in the Dodgers lineup. Uh, Osvaldo Bito, Oakland starter on Sunday, he had two good starts before blowing up his last time out. I think he can do an effective job here. The A's bullpen, 2.55 ERA the last two weeks. So the Dodgers under their team total as well. Uh, San Diego moving on. Number four in the Power Five is San Diego first five run line versus Colorado 410 Eastern. Minus 125 to lay the half run in the first five innings with the Padres who did win Saturday 3-2 after dropping the series opener to the Rockies. I know Colorado has been competitive of late, guys, but I even cashed a ticket on them as a matter of fact earlier in the week against the Angels. But historically, and we all know this, terrible road team. 2024 has been no different. 17-42 and 42 record away from Coors Field this season. And in those 59 games, they've been outscored by 142 runs. I'm going to take knuckleballer Matt Waldron over Cal Quantrill any day of the week, including Sunday. Uh, Quantrill, the Rockies set starter, he's got a 7.54 ERA his last five starts. Meanwhile, I'm expecting Waldron to bounce back from an uncharacteristically poor effort his last time out. I said it earlier this week. I'll say it again here. The Padres are live to win the NL pennant. Not only do I think they're making the playoffs, I think they can win the National League. I like them in the first five today, laying half a run. Now, before I get to the Sunday night game, reminder, special offer going on at wagertalk.com right now where you can get the entire month of August for free. An instant $299 savings. When you buy two months, we'll give you this month free. Head on over to my page for all the details, wt.buzz slash b. P. Okay, rounding out today's Power 5, Justin Steele of the Cubs to record a win versus the Cardinals. This is plus 140, so nice uh, plus money price on this prop. Our fifth play here on the show. And final, Cubs fans, they probably feel like their team should have won last night and should be aiming for a sweep on Sunday. After all, after they win the games Thursday and Friday, Cubs were up 4-1 going into the 8th inning yesterday, but that is when things went awry. Nevertheless, I think the Cubs are bouncing back tonight, and it's going to be because of Steele. He's got a 3.07 expected ERA, 228 expected batting average allowed. Then you look at St. Louis starter Miles Mikulas. He is better on the road than at home, no doubt about it. There's a, a pretty big difference in his ERA. 
but he's got a 5 ERA overall this season. This is the Cubs' third time facing him as well. That's key. Interestingly enough, the Cardinals have not faced Steele in 2024. I've said many times before, Steele has pitched much better than his record. Time for him to earn a win tonight. Remember, I cashed this very prop a little over a month ago, uh, actually closer to two months now, when Steele earned his first win of the season. I was on him to record a win that day. I think he wins, uh, gets the win today, plus 140 to do so again. That does it for the Power 5 for Sunday. Let's recap. Yankees team total under 5.5. Two, Royals team total under 4.5. Three, Dodgers team total under 4.5. Four, San Diego first Five, run line, minus half a run. And then finally, number five, Justin Steele to record a win, plus 140 against the Cardinals. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Always like seeing your feedback. Big thanks to everyone who joined me on Saturday for my 4% best bet, my loan client release. It was the Reds, and that was a winner. Again, you can head on over to wt.buzz slash bp right now for my top selections for Sunday. And don't forget to smash that like button if you already haven't done so. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Not only am I doing the Power 5 each and every day now, of course, you got the Morning Wager. Mark Zinno and myself, that will be back on Monday. We do that show every Monday through Friday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Till then, let's catch some tickets.